Hey people, what's up? This is Jamil, and I just want to go a little bit over contract stalking. And when you really look at contract stalking, also known as gang stalking too, it's the same thing. Gang stalking, group stalking, contract stalking, the same thing. When you look at this phenomena, and you look at how it's used for intimidation, and it's used for the purposes of terrifying an individual, you can see how there's a close relation to serial murders, because that's what serial killers do. Like, a lot of serial killers do the same thing that contract stalkers do. Because Ted Bundy, he would have, he would have his victims under surveillance for weeks. Ted Bundy had excellent surveillance skills, where his victim that he was going to murder, he would have them under surveillance for a long period of time. And then he had all sorts of uh, gadgets and tools to commit his murders, his criminal operation, professionally. <laughs> and when you look at the concept of the ideas that come out of contract stalking and, and uh, the, the, the terror that they spread, threatening phone calls, scaring people, wearing all these weird colors and stuff, the same color patterns over and over again, you know, that gets in, that reminds me of like snuff film, how Leonard Lake and Charles, uh, that Charles guy, that lived over in California back in like the 80s or 90s or whatever, or the 2000s, whenever they were doing it, in the Ukiah area, they were spying on all their neighbors. They had their neighbors under surveillance, and they were murdering their neighbors and murdering the children. They were kidnapping the children, and they were recording snuff film and selling it. And that's what, when you come to the contract stalkers and gang stalkers, anybody who can sit there and repeatedly terrorize somebody that's the same mindset of somebody who does child porns or snuff films or serial murders it's the same mentality you know and so a lot of these times these people pretend like there's people doing this contract stalking stuff who are who are like um impersonating police they're impersonating private investigators or they may even be cops and private investigators or, or government agents who knows but the sole purpose of a lot of this stuff and they even hired i've seen people they hire drug dealers they hire people with felonies um and that's the strange part is how can an individual hire a felon who has multiple felonies to follow somebody and make that, that, that doesn't make any sense. So, like, it, when it comes to contract stalking, this is like the same mindset of, of serial killer type stuff. It's really creepy. And the fact that society is so incompetent to where, like, the cops can't even admit it's real. It's, it's like, you know, it's crazy. 